In July, I was invited to the Gers region of southwest France, which is about 60 kilometers from the border of Spain and near the Pyrenees Mountains. So I just arrived, and holy shit, this is beautiful. I was one of the sculptors participating in the Residence des Artistes, which was put on by Alain and Laurence Beaumont. They own Chateau Ventus et Boucasse, which is uh, two different chateaus, they're winemakers. They have maybe 400 acres of vineyard, and the chateaus have places to store wine barrels, and they also have big vats and uh, machinery for making The art residency was to raise awareness for the importance of biodiversity and to raise awareness about insect populations that are dying out because of the overuse of pesticides. They try to use as few chemicals in their winemaking process as possible. So it's kind of a part of their mission and they are doing this residency every year to draw attention to it and create something beautiful. Saw's so already got check and see who's working. So this is my room. I'm the only girl at this event. And so I got the big room. And it has a window overlooking the area we're all going to be carving. While I was there, there were two other sculptors there, Julien and Antoine. We all had to submit our designs in advance in order to win the residency. Oh. When I put mine in, it looked more like a totem pole of stacked insects because I was expecting to have just this typical log. But when I got there and I could dig through the wood pile, I found this really amazing and very bulky piece of Lebanon cedar. Julian told me that cedar of Lebanon was the wood that was used in the Temple of Solomon. I wanted to start carving on this thing and uh, the time lapse is going. The two other sculptors brought chainsaws for doing some real basic block out, but for the most part, they weren't really chainsaw carvers, they were traditional wood carvers. There was a lot of like <laughs> with the chisel, which was really nice to hear until I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I made a lot of noise and a lot of mess, and I'm not sure that they were ready for that. It's the first time they've had a chainsaw carver come to the event, and uh, hopefully it didn't annoy them too much. This is one of the reasons why I really love the chainsaw with the carving bar. Um, I'm still on day one, spent most of the morning getting the log ready, uh, spent an hour or two cleaning up all the rot, and now I'm already digging in. And it's going pretty smoothly so far, I don't want to change myself. Well, not good, I'm not going to just plenty of water around. So I just got my first lesson in checking oysters. Find the what? One thing I really enjoyed about living and working at the Chateau, I have a really talented chef. And we'd all meet up as a big group and have lunch together. And in addition, they provided us with tickets for this festival that's once a year for Bastille Day called Les Tables de Vic. Uh, essentially, a bunch of different star chefs come and prepare one dish. Donc le veau, okay. Là, du coup, quand tu fais ça, Normalement, il est coupé au couteau, hein? You get a ticket, you get to try all these different flavors and uh, drink wine. And then at the end, there's fireworks for Bastille Day, and then we dance. Lots of food, lots of people. Having a little ceviche. This salmon ceviche might be the best ceviche I've ever had. Oh my god. So I was working in the United States uh, for our 4th of July, and I'm happy at least to be here in France. Like, my teeth are super red, I've been working with one all night. I can't actually talk to you for a Bastille Day, so I'm not false. One of my favorite parts of wood sculpture is the smell. And depending on the wood, some smell better than others, but uh, the cedar of Lebanon has one of the most distinct and amazing scents. It had this like lingering smell, and anytime I would work on it in any part of the chateau, it would just leave the scent in like kind of like a present, like a leave evidence that I was there and smell. 
because it was so long, I had more time than usual. Uh, I got the base of it kind of carved out and I'm like, well, I still have quite a few days left. And because the design changed from this sort of totem pole sim simple idea and it became a branched thing, it looked odd to me to just have these two branches with bugs on them. So I decided to go and grab more wood out of the pile and carve a rose. Okay, so I made a little progress today on the rose. So I need to finish, get into the little gaps. And then a leaf to add onto it so it had more of a complete idea. And it became almost this Alice in Wonderland, like oversized garden kind of thing. And when Wagdi asked me what I wanted to name it, I said, uh, Dans le jardin. I think it's le jardin. Dans le, dans le jardin. Mm. French is hard. I've named it Dans le jardin. One thing I've started doing is getting souvenir tattoos. I asked the artist if he could draw me a grape on the vine with the leaf. And so he did, but then right before I was going to get the tattoo, Antoine was like, well, that's not a tenant leaf. So, and he should know better this region. <laughs> you need. So I sent a revision to the tattoo artist and he changed it to be the kind of variety of grape that they grow at the vineyard. So I know now that I have the right grape on my ankle. So it was a competition in the sense that whoever wins this residence gets to come back next year. It's an automatic invitation and there were some bottles of wine promised. And while I was there, actually, I decided what variety of wine I wanted them to send me, should I win. Wine called Jardin Philosophique. So I really hope that should I win, that's the one that's arriving on my doorstep. Thank you, Emma, Laurence, Wagdi, and everyone else at Chateau Boucassé. I really had a wonderful time, and I hope I'm coming back next year. I don't know, but I hope I'm coming back next year. Goodbye, darling, darling. Down the road I go. Da -da -da -da. Subscribe now.